This video will discuss the absolute quantitative entropy of systems with equal energy. So we'll, this is sort of a link between what we've been discussing thus far, which is the macroscopic idea of entropy as a quantitative measure of disorder. And we're going to now make some connections down to the microscopic level and look at it from more of a statistical perspective of what entropy is at the microscopic level. Okay, so we'll start with uh, what we looked at in statistical mechanics is the ergodic hypothesis, which says that all states with equal energy are equally likely to be observed. So if we have a system where we just have a bunch of energy levels, which are all equally likely, so they all have equal energy, we want to see what is the entropy of that system. So we have this factor W which is the degeneracy of the system, so how many energy, how many states there are at this given energy level that we're looking at. So W would be what we would be calling uh, G from statistical mechanics earlier. And we said that entropy is, should be an extensive state function. So Boltzmann defined the entropy originally for such a situation to be the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of W. So let's, let's look a little bit further into this and see whether this makes sense and why it has to be this way. Okay, let's imagine one particle in G1 degenerate states. So W there equals G1 and S equals Boltzmann constant times the natural log of G1, KB law on G1. All right, so S is extensive. So two particles should have twice as much entropy. So if we have two particles in G1 degenerate states, the degeneracy of that system is going to be G1 squared. So the entropy of that is going to be KB times natural log of G1 squared, but the natural log of A to the X is X natural log of A. So that would be 2 times KB times log of G1, which is, as we saw, 2 times the entropy of one particle. So I have that relationship down there in terms of logarithms. So the entropy scales linearly with the number of particles. That makes it an extensive function, so it's check on that account. So why is it that the degeneracy goes up uh, <clears throat> with the power of the number of particles? So let's look at an example here. Let's see we have our two states. So two states here in our green, and then different scenarios for where those two particles could be in those two states. So one particle is the light blue, the other is a yellow. All right, we could have both on the left. We could have one on the left, one on the right. We could reverse which one's on the left or the right, or they could both be on the right. So if there's two particles and they're independent of one another, we have four possibilities, those four there. So this is equal to having one particle in two states and the other particle in two states. So W12, the degeneracy of two particles, is equal to the degeneracy of one particle times the degeneracy of the other particle. So if we have n particles <clears throat> and we have particle i in gi states, then the degeneracy is the product over all of the particles of the degeneracy of each particle. So the entropy of that system would be the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of the total degeneracy which is <clears throat> the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of the product of the degeneracy of every individual particle. But the natural log of a bunch of products, so the natural log of A times B times C, is the natural log of A plus the natural log of B plus the natural log of C. So this is equal to the Boltzmann constant times the sum of the natural log of each individual component. So that's equal to the sum over all the particles of the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of the degeneracy of each of those individual particles. And this would be the definition we have for the entropy of each of those individual particles. So the entropy of our total system is a sum of the entropy of the individual particles when they're non-interacting. So this this is just meant to give you some kind of an intuitive insight into why the entropy depends on the natural log of the degeneracy, why that type of behavior is there, and it's really this type of relationship for how natural logs work. So that's, that's why it depends on the natural log of W, 
and then the Boltzmann constant is the constant which is the proportionality factor that relates uh, the that relates um, the the energy of that to how many states that there are. So uh, the Boltzmann constant is in units of joules per Kelvin, as entropy typically will be in joules per Kelvin. So <clears throat> so the natural log of that number of states, whatever that is, that relates us that gives us in entropy a certain energy per every unit of temperature that we have.